Welcome guys uh, to this next video on my channel. So today I'm going to, in the last video, you know, you spoke about shrinkage, how to calculate shrinkage, what is shrinkage, what are the components of shrinkage, like internal shrinkage and external shrinkage, why shrinkage is so important uh, in call center, why it's so important metric in call center. So now we're going to talk about forecasting. So forecasting simply, uh, in simple terms, means predicting the future. So as we know, uh, you know, predictions can uh, go haywire as well. Uh, it's not uh, a ground rule that if we use uh, you know any of the methods that I'm going to talk about here in this video on uh, you know on calculating the forecast. So there might be plus minus in the forecasted uh, volumes, but uh, there are three ways through which you can forecast your future you know call volume basis the historic data that we have. So here in this sheet, you can see that we have uh, data for 10 weeks where we have call volumes listed here in this call volumes B column. The three methods that I'm going to talk about is slope intercept method, trend method and forecast method. So how uh, we go about working on the forecast using these methods, we'll uh, going to learn in this video. So I'll first cover the slope intercept, intercept method. So in this method, what we need to do first is we need to make a scatter diagram of this data. That is the week and the historical data of call volume that we have. So we go to insert and then we click on scatter. We get a scatter chart here. Now here we right click on this and we add a trend line. So here we have to have linear as a trend line. And if we scroll down, you can see three uh, options here, set intercept, display equation on chart and display R squared value on chart. So we'll just use display equation on chart. So now we can see that we have an equation for this listed here for the charts, which says Y is equal to 184.85 multiplied by X plus 10993. So here, the slope in this equation is you write here as slope slope is 184.85 and the intercept that we have for this is 10993 so we have got the slope and the intercept now let's look at the formula how to calculate the forecast so for this uh, what we'll do is that y is that we want to find out. So the column of uh, this B column call volume received is the Y column and the X column is the V column. So Y stands for call volume received and X stands for the week. So we want to find out what is the volume that we're going to receive in 11th week. So as the equation, as you can see in this uh, equation here, where y is equal to 184.85x plus 10993. So we're going to plug in these uh, details here. So this will be, the formula will be equals to sine slope. That is 184.85 multiplied by x. That is 11. We want to find out the data for 11 weeks. So multiply this with 11. And then we add the intercept into it. We'll make it constant, uh, the slope and intercept, we have to make it constant as we're going to copy paste this formula. Rest can be you know, left as it is. So we'll get 13,026 calls. So if we copy paste this, so we get the forecasted volume or the predicted volume for this particular period, that is 11th week to 20th week. So this was the slope inter uh, intercept method that we used. Now we're going to use the trend method. So for this, it's a simple formula available in Excel. We use trend bracket start known Y's. So what are the known Y's? The known Y's are first to 10th week, right? Then comma, it asks us for known X's. So we have known X's 1 to 10. 
then it's asking us for the new access that is the 11th week for 11th week we want to find out what will be the call volume so we'll again uh, make it constant this freeze this freeze this as well and then we enter so here you can see there are a bit of difference between the slope intercept method and the trend method that we have it's although it's not much of a difference just a one call difference uh, mostly uh, the you know on few weeks but most of the data is almost the same so as we can see so this is the trend method how which uh, through which you can find out the forecast the uh, next method is forecast method so here also we have a formula available in excel so we use forecast so the, as you type the forecast you will see all these uh, options available so we'll just simply use forecast here we'll talk about the others uh, you know in a next video so here the forecast we are asked it's asking us for the x so x is what x is 11 11th week then is it's asking for known y so known y is the call volume received from week 1 to week 10 and then known x is that is week 1 to week 10 close this again we will freeze this range of known x is and known y is so we'll freeze this. We'll freeze this and enter. So here you can see we have got the forecast here as well. So this is the simplest way, guys, to uh, calculate uh, your forecast for the coming weeks. You know, if you have the historical data available, so you can forecast the call volume that you're going to receive in the next. Uh, weeks so it, it can be done for call volumes so you, for an inbound process it can be done for uh, you know leads like the volume of leads forecasted that how many leads we're gonna get this is the historical data of leads that we have received for a outbound process uh, if it's a back office process where you're getting cases or say emails or you know other kind of uh, stuff uh, where you are doing a back office kind of a work so there also you can use this formula to forecast the volume that you're going to receive in the next coming weeks so this is about uh, the forecasting uh, method uh, in the next video we're going to talk about on the basis of this forecast how we can calculate the number of fts or number of agents required to handle the volume including the occupancy and the shrinkage factor as well so hope uh, you know this video was useful and you have learned something new today so do give the feedback in the comment section on this video and do share uh, you know ideas or topics that you want to want me to cover in the coming videos thanks for watching you have a great day